Hey yo, what's Gucci with you do? Kiraki Studio here for a new Wi-Fi battle. My opponent is Julian Lulz this time. Um, it's a semi-OU battle. I am using a high offense team except for Fortress and Polito, who are bulky, and Polito can also dish a hit. Um, he can, his team is a pretty defensive team with Cabalion, Slowbro, and Swampert. And then some offensive threats like Archeops and Latios. Um, I have this battle sped up right now because this battle actually did take a decent amount of time before... 14 minutes, so, anyway, I, this is a after recording, so, yeah, I usually record these things during the time, but anyway, let's start, start with the battle. Um, as I said, opponent is Julian Lulz, um, channel in the description, and let's get on with this battle. He sends out his Archeops, or Razil, or I don't even know how to pronounce that, I said that it's fine. It's fine, it's actually faster, and hits the rock slide off, and that takes out his Archeops, because it's not focused on, even if it was, whatever he was going to do would not have done that much damage, because after the main part, it would not do that much to the players. I stay in here thinking that I can take a Draco Meteor, just because Lander is bulky, but he has a Dragon Gem Draco Meteor, and also gets a critical hit. So that is an easy KO for him. Okay, so now we're both down to 5-5. Next, I send out my own Shiny Latios, knowing that I have a lot of mind values to max speed, so I can probably outspeed him with Draco Meteor. Which is in Slowbro, which is a good play for him, because Slowbro can take a hit. I kill the Draco Meteor, it does about 60 or so percent to his Slowbro, so I'm going very easy to that damage. I get the White Nerve. He ends up making the Double Switch, which is a very smart attempt that we stayed in. He would have got Thunderbolt in to the Dome, and that would have really sucked. So he sends out his Cobalion. Cobalion can take that hit, takes about a little bit under half, and I can switch into my Politoed very easily right get my rain, and Cobalion can't really do anything to stop that. He uses Hidden Power, I'm not sure what Hidden Power this is, it might have been Fire because it's not very effective. Either way, I don't, I'm not sure where this Hidden Power is. And he goes with the Volt Switch, which is a very good play to get super effective damage on Polytoad. And then, yeah, so Poly he goes back into Slowbro. And Slowbro is up generating, so it has 33% more of its HP back. I go with Polytoad again, I get down to half HP that serve, I go with the Hydro Pump, I think that a uh, Rainbow is a hard to pump a modest poly to probably take it out, but it was possessed a sliver and he gets him to slap on. He gives him to a comfortable position of HP left. Now right here is kind of a stall war between Slowbro and Polytoad, where Slowbro is going to win, because after enough like, um, skull attacks, he's actually going to get the burn and then he's gonna be out the like in the burn with the So I'm just going in here trying to get as much damage on this uh, Slowbro as possible because this is a big threat to my team. I have no sweet safe switches into a slowbro. I have no, nothing that really wants to take a scald or a psychic to the face. I was thinking that I could probably send in my hair across right here, but at the same time, if he used psychic, then that could do. Could I could rather take out my hair across or do a hefty chunk, but I really don't want hair across to take any unnecessary damage. And if he gets a skull burn, then that just cripples my hair across too. So I was not going to switch in hair across into here, even though it would have been a pretty good play if I could get it off. Again, he goes in this uh, slap it off, gets himself back up his HP, Polytoad's burnt now, and honestly, Polytoad cannot do anything else for the rest of his battle. It's to build its purpose, it's got the rain up, and it does a heavy chunk of damage to the slow build, and that's all I really wanted. He ends up doing the slap off again while I die from the burn, which is a very good play, because if he attacked here, he would have been at a low amount of HP, and I could have just, been, I could just switch out him with a Thunderbolt or something from my Latios, and I send him Latios just to scare off uh, Slowbro. He sends in his small bird. I go with the Thunderbolt thinking maybe he's going to rather go to switch back into his Cobalion or stay in. As well, I had to switch out here. I go with my Fortress. This is a very good play on my part because he ends up going for the attack, which gives me a free turn into my Fortress. He goes to the Ice Punch. He told me that was a misclick and he might have been using Earthquake or anything else, but anyway, Slowbro found me Force would have been able to take that hit easily. He uses the red card and he takes the lab here, so I get my toxic spikes up here. I end up going for a second toxic spikes instead of the self rock, so I figured that getting yourself into swampered and slow with valley poison are gonna help out in the long run. So yeah, it's kinda bad that I had the red card there, but I could have walled this um swamper for days and then he switched out I was got another three flare spikes or self rocks up. Anyway, I go with my gum angela, because gum angela has not seen any screen time since it's birth. I go with Bug Buzz and actually gets a critical hit here. Um, I went online and the crit matters to an extent. It would, the Bug Buzz 
this would have done about 95% of its um, health to Latios, depending on how much special defense he has, or if it's for any. The only way you send him is Cobalion after Latios is gone, and hitting him with a thunder, thunder, and that's gone too. Now, this is where I get a problem because the Swampert is a big threat for Galvantula. Usually, Galvantula's run energy ball, and usually, I run energy ball with Galvantula, but I was using this Galvantula as an in-game one, and I did not get energy ball, it was an extra ball instead. I noticed that too late in this battle, and if I had the energy ball, it would let me the easily contain on Swampert, and probably got a Thunder in on the next full wave type thing. And when he goes with the LH, he gets a two turns in the forest, and the poison is slowly turning to take him out of here. I thought it was going to take him out here, but it really does mean he ends up living with a tiny bit, and this is where the awesomeness of this battle comes in. So I ended up going with Pimcross and Pimcross with Megamore that easily takes out Swampert at 7 8 feet, and I get that Moxie Lock boost. Everything that puts in one attack, he ends up sending me a slow row here. I'm not sure why, because after a plus one, I can easily take a slow row, even with full HP, with a Mega Horn, and get another Moxie Lock to boost. It may be double attack power at this moment. I am still at full HP with Heracross, except for that Rocky Kong, which takes me down 50 HP, I was really not expecting it to take that much HP from a simple Rocky Helmet. He sends in Blair, if that is a Soul Eater reference, then that's amazing, if not, then I still like the So he sends in this. He tries to keep his tummy with two attacks. I end up going with the Mega Horn. Surprisingly, I don't miss any of these Mega Horns. Any of these Mega Horns missed. That would have been really tough against you, especially. I said the also Tommy Mew is coming. I don't miss any of them. I don't use the I mean. I go with the Thunderbolt. That, that reveals he does not have the Psychic. Because if he had the Psychic, then he could have probably taken out my hair across from there. And I have sent in my last bullet with his Latios. Anyway, I use another Mega Horn. And that's going to be the game after getting one more Monty boost. Really, it's not matter at this point. But anyway, that is the game against Julian Rolls. Um, please like, like this video, share it, subscribe, and I'll 